Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 50 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over. And today's question comes from Mikey C. in Nailsea, England. And Mikey writes, Dear Justin, why did you become a voice teacher? Thank you so much, Mikey. And obviously today is a, a special episode, uh, our 50th episode. And I just want to thank you guys so much and just let you know that we are so blessed and, and grateful to be able to be a part of your vocal journey. And I thank you so much for the kind uh, emails and uh, messages that we get from people all over the world. It's really, uh, truly uh, an honor to be a part of helping you guys to sing and to being there on your vocal journey. So thank you uh, for joining us for these 50, and uh, here's to many, many more. But uh, today I thought actually it would be hopefully helpful uh, to actually share this story because it's a very, very cool story about how I became a voice teacher uh, that I hope can help. So um, I always said I will never be a voice teacher. That's the last thing I would ever want to do. And sure enough, uh, a sort of miraculous story happened, and I want to share that story with you. Um, I, was, I came to New York to be a singer, and I was here for only about two weeks. I was just fresh off the boat. And I went to an audition, and again, only two weeks into the city, and I was in the waiting room when this man walks into the room and he says to everybody in the waiting room, does anybody in here play the piano? And I kind of sheepishly raise my hand and he says, you, come out here in the hall. So I go out and he says, how well do you play the piano? And I say, uh, you know, I, pretty well. He says, do you think you can sight read and play well enough to play an audition? And I said, yeah, I think I probably could. So he gets on his cell phone. And he says, yeah, I got some kid here. Yeah, yeah, he thinks he can do it. Okay, we'll take the kid. So he says, finish up your audition. Come down the hall. We want you to play these auditions. I go into the waiting room. And the monitor says to me, now you know who that is, right? I said, no, I, I don't know who that is. He says, that's one of the most influential casting directors of all time. He's cast films, TV shows, Broadway shows. He says, you better get ready. <laughs> so I was starting to get nervous. Uh, and I finish up my audition. And then I go down the hall uh, to play for this big audition. And my jaw was on the floor. And I've never been so nervous in my entire life because here I am two weeks into the city and I, I'm playing for big stars as they walk through the door for this audition. I just couldn't believe that I was playing for a bunch of people that I knew. And somehow I survived uh, this. And somehow I had the audacity at the end of it to say to the casting director, I said, don't pay me. I said, take two headshots and call me when I'm right for something. <laughs> and. He, he said, okay, all right. So he takes the pictures, but he says, you know, Justin, we saw something in you. We think that you have what it takes to be a really great vocal coach. We saw your work. We saw how you interacted with the singers. We just sensed that you could be a great vocal coach. And I thought, a vocal coach? That, that's the last thing I would want to do. But because this guy saw this in me, somebody that knew what he was doing could see that potential in me. I, that day, went from pursuing my dreams to walking into my destiny. I found out what I was meant to do, what I was called to do in this life in a sort of miraculous way. And that's why they say that things happen in a New York minute. Because one day you can be expecting things to be going one way and then bam, walk right into your destiny. And so 
I mean, that's just a, a cool story and one that I will never forget. And it's, you know, it's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. But it, it really taught me a few things. One, one is that you can never say never, right? I mean, I said I would never be a voice teacher, never be a vocal coach. And now this is what I live for. I live to help as many people around the world learn how to sing as I possibly can in the time that I'm given in this life. That's my purpose in life. And I said, I would never do it. <laughs> so I guess you can never say never. The next thing is, if you're going after your dreams, you will definitely end up finding your destiny. So many times it's so easy to just give up on what we have in our hearts. Just say, oh, that could never happen. I, you know, I don't have what it takes. All these people told me no. You know, that's why we always say, don't let people tell you you can't sing. It's not just singing. Anything that you have in your heart, you have to go after it. It's not that it needs to work out exactly how you want it to work out. But if you're going after your dreams, either it's gonna work out just how you thought, or you're gonna go smacking into your destiny that you never thought, that's gonna use your talents and your gifts. People are gonna see, if you're going after your dreams, if you're bold enough to go after your dreams and tell people, take two headshots and call me when I'm right, <laughs> people are gonna know that you have something and they're gonna see the potential in you and there's no way you're gonna miss out on your destiny. The next thing it showed me is that, you know, things happen uh, in a New York minute. How many singers have I seen uh, and artists just struggling, struggling, working so hard, they wanna give up, you know, they get discouraged, they get frustrated, and then in my time as a voice teacher, I have seen people who just thought, I will never make it, I will never, this will never happen for me, boom, then it happens. They finally get that breakthrough. They finally get what it was that they were after. And it happens when you least expect it, and it happens fast. It happens in a New York minute. So you cannot give up on yourself and the things that you have inside you. So these are things, I guess, that uh, my story in becoming a voice teacher uh, has taught me. And so for our special episode 50 today, I just wanted to tell you guys about how I became a voice teacher. And, um, you know, again, we're so grateful and we're not going to stop. We're going to just be with you guys and we're going to be uh, helping you on this journey. And uh, we're just so thankful for every moment of it. And uh, so don't lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Don't let people tell you you can't sing because you and I both know it's just not true. And here's to 50 more. <laughs>